Hey guys, welcome to Indie Game Hustle. My name is Charles. And in this video, we are gonna continue with our melee uh, module setup for our little guy here and our little platformer. And we've been basically, you know, trying to figure out how we're gonna have this little guy swing a little weapon or hammer in this case. And um, and so we have so far, we got some things working here pretty well and it looks pretty good. Of course, um, polish is always going to be necessary, but we're not going to do any polishing right now. We're just going to focus on just functionality. And so the next thing I think will be important is for him to be able to hit somebody, right? So let's go ahead and set up a player to hit. All right. So the first thing we want to do is remember, you know, um, the player is very similar to the enemy or the enemy is very similar to the player. So He's going to need some similar components added in order to be set up. So the first thing we're going to do is use the game creator built in uh, character to get started. So you can do this by simply going to the toolbar here and where it says here, this little uh, white icon, create character. And so we're going to have our little guy here uh, attack him initially. Right. All right. Great. So now that we have this player here, um, the next thing we want to do is create or add a component onto this player and you want to go to the player the this one here not this one but this one and we want to go down to add component and we want to type in melee and you want to select character melee okay all right and we don't need to mess with any of these values here um, so now that we have this character melee here uh, the next thing we want to do is create a mechanics uh, uh, game object j for this character as well. And I'm going to also rename this enemy or character enemy. OK, cool. All right. And so I'm going to right click and I'm going to create an empty and I'm just going to name it mechanics. Mechanics, just like uh, our original. And then here I'm going to create another empty I'm going to call it, um, I guess I call it trigger attack, right? And then I'm going to actually go to game creator trigger and I'm going to get rid of this, uh, one here and I'm going to go over to my inspector and then on start, what we want to do is draw the weapon. So I guess I'll just go ahead and name this draw. And then I'll go ahead and hit the action slot, double click there. So it'll take us into our action and I'll just actually just go ahead and get rid of that. We want to draw. And of course you just type in draw, draw weapon. And then now what we want to do is change this character player to uh, character to character, right? And then we want to drag our character enemy here, there. And then we want to select melee weapon that we want this character to have. So in this case, we're going to give him uh, the base weapon. So or not the base weapon, but the uh, the sword weapon that comes with game creator. Let me say, OK, so and then I'm going to do the same thing for the shield. Now, we haven't actually went over the shield yet, um, and uh, we'll talk about that later. But um, the weapon part is probably the most important part right now. So all right, great. So. Look back, we have trigger, attack, draw. And so this character, this enemy, is going to draw his weapon as soon as the game starts. So on start, okay? So when I hit play, he is now uh, in this basically the same pose that I am. And so now he's good to go. Now, the reason that we have this set up is because in order to actually attack the enemy or for him to even receive an attack, all of those components have to be active and ready. And just to show you, I'm going to create yet another character. And I'm going to add the melee and that's it. I'm just going to add the melee and that's it. And so. So it's not enough just to add that. 
So as you can see, the only uh, person who can receive an attack is going to be a person whose weapon is drawn and ready. Okay, perfect. So that's something to think about. So this particular player is just going to stand there and he's not going to receive an attack. All right, good. So we'll just go ahead and get rid of this character. He's not ready to fight. All right, perfect. All right, so now the thing is, is what we want to do is change this player to an enemy that we may want to use in this game. All right, and so what I'm going to do is use a different character that's very similar to him, but it's gonna be his arch nemesis. And uh, let's see here, uh, let's get rid of these. So what we're gonna do is look for characters, model. We're gonna use this chibi skull looking one here. So I'm gonna select the character enemy and then I'm gonna drag that player right in here. So I'm gonna select it and drag it just like so. So now we have the evil version of this player. All right, perfect. And so now he has someone to fight uh, on his terms or equal footing here. All right. So there's some things we need to fix. And let me just go ahead and do that now. That's because this particular character has, I believe, rigid bodies already set and some other things that were pre preset. So I'm just going to get rid of those. I'm going to get rid of this rigid body. Uh, and let's see uh, what's going on. All right, cool. So he's good to go. Now, of course, if I attack him, he's going to take all those different actions and everything is already ready to go. But we need to put the weapon in his hand properly. So um, what I'll do is go ahead and get that set up now. So to do that, I'll do a very similar thing I did before. I'm going to go over to this character, select the sword. And of course, remember, I'm going to select the sword clone. And then I'm going to move this object into his hand. And something like that. You might want to rotate it. So it's kind of like that. And boom, that works out pretty good. All right, that's kind of where we want it. And so now I'm going to go ahead and copy the uh, transform here. All right, and so let's see. And I wonder if I would actually use a different thing. So let's just take a look really quick for this particular character. So again, the actions that we're going with. So he's using sword. So if we use base, I wonder if I, it's already preset because we had it set up already. So maybe that will already have the same since they are about the same size. It might work out for us. Oh, of course, because he's using the same weapon and that's fine. Um, just keep in mind, uh, you would want to actually create a different sword and shield for him, right? Um, so that's fine for now. Um, he's evil. Good. So that's fine. All right, cool. So he has a weapon. I have a weapon. And we'll just leave it like that. All right, cool. All right, so what we want to do now is... I noticed like every time I attack this guy, he's going to be pushed backwards and he just kind of starts laying against the wall. So it'd be kind of cool if he got hit and after a few minutes or a few seconds or so, he would walk back to a certain position. So maybe we can kind of create something like that. Um, this is just for testing, um, obviously. So what I'll do is create um, some type of trigger. And uh, let's see here, this trigger will be Let's see, on start, let's see what would happen. We might want to, 
on start play an animation and we can have an animation be like wait and we can have it wait like I don't know like 20 seconds and then we can have a move move character this character enemy to a position or a marker and what we'll do is create a marker so um, let's go ahead and do that so I think the marker is navigation marker so I just created a marker now this marker can't be part of the player because it'll just move so we'll just put it outside we want this marker to be right there and I'll even change the color of that marker just to be red all right cool and let's see this action so we'll drag this marker into this part and then we'll wait until they arrive and then it'll wait another we'll do a reset restart action and then it will do it again so let's do maybe 30 seconds maybe 30 seconds all right well let's do five seconds just to see 10 seconds to see that it works all right cool so if i go up and then as soon as that 10 seconds is over hopefully he just goes back to that position perfect all right cool and so now to me that works pretty good and so every time he moves out of the spot and we're constantly attacking um, we can have him constantly move right back to that position all right cool all right nice and 10 seconds is probably fine let's see if he walks back can i hit while he's walking yeah Cool, perfect. And it looks like what ends up happening is it's it gets interrupted. <laughs> so let me go ahead and check out the actions again. And it doesn't have to wait till he arrives. Let's see, because maybe he won't arrive. Let's try it again. And this is completely optional. This is just kind of like. And then he's going to walk back. Attack him again. Alright, and then I'm going to attack him when he's on his way back. Let's see if it interrupts it. It might. And did it. 10 seconds. Nope. Cool, perfect. That's what we want. That seems like it works good. All right, cool. Perfect. All right, cool. All right, so that works for me. All right, cool. All right, so we have our player set up. We have him ready to receive attacks and damages. Again, he's using kind of the same weapon we're using, um, but just keep in mind, if we didn't want him to use the same weapon, uh, you would just generally go in and... Um, change that so to change it of course you go to draw um, you go to actions and you'll just create a new weapon right so you instead of him using the base sword uh, base shield which shouldn't even be that name because we changed the style of uh, weapon it is it should be maybe base axe or hammer uh, weapon and hammer shield I guess but um, we would just duplicate this and then replace the actual prefab that is being used okay so but for now we're going to leave that like that because we don't want to get into any type of like polished details type things right now but this is all functional cool all right so um in our next video we will continue with the melee uh, module and uh, maybe we'll take a look at talking about dealing damages and um maybe um affecting animations based on that and then maybe we can create our own clips but um, we'll get into that in our next video. All right. Talk to you guys soon. Bye. Hey, guys. Thanks for tuning in. For the next set of videos, I'll be releasing one every day at 10 a.m. Eastern Time. So to stay up to date on the latest 3D platforming tutorial, feel free to subscribe to the channel. If you'd like to support, you can find me on Patreon. Or, of course, you can hit me up on Discord. I like to talk about whatever project you guys are working on. 
Of course, thanks for hanging with me. Your support is always appreciated. As always, remember, never give up and keep moving forward. Peace.